Good morning, this morning, good morning. It's Tuesday and I just had a commute from hell. The train was so full of people and at every station we stopped at more people tried to get on and no one was getting up. I was on the verge of having a panic attack. I was swearing out loud. I made it. Nerve wracking. I'm home! Oh, what a day. My commute this morning was horrible. I almost had a panic attack. People are rude and obnoxious, pushing and shoving to get on the train. It was hot and crowded. My heart started racing, and I was starting to freak out. So I closed my eyes and tried to focus on my breath, and that kind of helped, but ugh, it was not fun. Not a good way to start the day. Work was good. I got a lot accomplished, because I only have to work for two more days. Three more days? Three more days, and then I go to Minneapolis for two weeks. So I have a lot of things to wrap up before I go on my trip. And I stopped at the Pottery Barn and got something, a treat for myself. Look at how cute their bags are. That is adorable. I will have to save this for a gift bag in the future. But I got, I want my apartment to smell nice, so I got this diffuser it's big they were on sale treat yourself treat yourself treat yourself 30 percent off the fragrance is gray moss i have a candle that's burning and i like the way the candle smells so i got this diffuser and i'm gonna try it and see how my apartment smells it'll smell pretty it'll smell pretty and um they had really pretty Christmas stuff in Pottery Barn. I wish I had a place to store it because I would actually decorate. I don't want to decorate because I don't have anywhere to store that crap once I'm done with it. Mm. The life of living in New York in an apartment. Anywho, what else did I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about how one single little decision could change your life forever. I saw someone comment on one of my friend's posts on Facebook who I worked with a long time ago, a long, long time ago when I first moved to Minneapolis. I worked at The Gap full-time and I worked part-time at Pottery Barn. When I worked at Pottery Barn part-time, there was a cute boy that worked there and we talked but we never really talked. We didn't really hang out ever and I found out eventually at some point that he had a crush on me, but by then I was already with Craig. And I'm just thinking, what if I would have talked to him before I met Craig and I could have ended up with him and my life would be completely different. I may not even be here in New York. I would probably still be in Minneapolis. Isn't that crazy to think how one little decision, like what if I asked him out or he asked me out and we went on a date and we hit it off. That's crazy. Well, you can't go back and change the past now, can you? Mm. Nope. So, that's cool. Now I'm going to make some salmon for dinner and watch some Netflix. So, another fun-filled Tuesday evening. Yeehaw. Anyway, I hope you had a good Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Remember, daydreaming may leach reality. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! So, of course, I was excited and nervous all at the same time because this is all new to me. I haven't done this in a very long time. Maybe these apps, how the world works now. It's just crazy. But anyway, I went and met 